Hey, this is Ben from Tech Lockdown, and today I want to walk you through how to monitor Snapchat on your child's iPhone or iPad. Snapchat is normally hard to monitor because of the disappearing messages feature, but there are actually a few techniques you can use to get all activity on a child's Snapchat account. You can check out our parent's guide to monitoring Snapchat on techlockdown.com in case any of our advice has changed since I made this video. I'll be focusing on two areas in this video, the first being how do you figure out what your child is looking at on the public spotlight feed and what profiles they're looking at that are outside of their friends list. And then the second is how do you monitor the private messages with the disappearing snaps? If you go to snapchat.com slash spotlight, you can get an idea for the types of content that tends to trend on the spotlight feed. And you may quickly notice that a lot of the suggested content uses very attractive people in it who might be advertising uh, inappropriate content in their profiles. So it's definitely a good idea to have some idea of what your child is looking at on Snapchat, especially the spotlight feed, and if they're navigating to some profiles that might be showing explicit content or advertising explicit content off the Snapchat platform. So the first thing I'd recommend that you do is to block snapchat.com using screen time so that your child can't use the Snapchat spotlight feed in Safari where they're not signed in to their teen or child account in Snapchat. I would also spend a little bit of time setting up Snapchat's family center. And this just involves you setting up a Snapchat account as a parent and then inviting your child to the family that you set up. And this gives you a little bit more control over your child's experience on Snapchat, even though it's fairly limited in terms of what Snapchat Family Center lets you see and control. Now, even if you use Family Center, it's not gonna tell you what your child's looking at on Spotlight or the profiles they've discovered through Spotlight. So in this case, you need to pair Family Center with a, another parental control tool. And most of the leading parental control tools will give you insight into at least like the images and videos your child's looking at on their device. And this typically picks up the Snapchat Spotlight feed. Now, the area that parental control tools typically can't handle is the disappearing messages or the private snaps between your child and other Snapchat users. Snapchat's Family Center will show you who has recently contacted your child, and it will show you the username of, of that Snapchat profile. But that's not always meaningful information since you can have anonymous Snapchat accounts and a username is not very meaningful to a parent. And uh, you also can't see the disappearing messages that were sent between that user and your child. The only way to truly monitor these disappearing messages is to use a parental monitoring app that actually uses screen recording to capture activity on an iPhone. So I actually helped launch a new type of monitoring app for iPhone called Living Room for Families that uses screen recording so that you can capture all activity on a child's iPhone. One of the hidden benefits of this app is that if you use Snapchat and you record the screen, Snapchat sends a message to the other person in the conversation, letting them know that the conversation is being recorded. And so this actually prevents a lot of bad behavior, for, for example, with a stranger contacting your child, because they'll know that the, the chat is not private and that they should be on their best behavior. But the main benefit is that it captures periodic screenshots of everything that your child's doing on the device. So even if they're using a disappearing messaging app like Snapchat, you're still going to get screenshots of those conversations, even if they're deleted. If you want to test it out for free, go to livingroomapp.com and create a parent's account, add your child's device to it, and then test out the screen recording feature to see how it captures all activity on the device. If you have any questions about how to monitor Snapchat activity, please leave your comment below and go to techlockdown.com for more free guides and advice.